There you go. Nothing to it. I thought you said it wouldn't take a jiffy. Well, it, it didn't. No, it took two hours. That's the biggest jiffy I've ever seen. Well, shall we take it down now, so you can have a go? No. You won't be here much longer. What do you mean? Um, I mean, you're probably not off. You must be very tired. Well, I must admit, I am quite sleepy after the long drive and, and putting the tent up. And all that hard work you did in the car. Well, yeah, origami cranes don't put themselves up, you know. Tell me about it. I had to make 8,000 of those for Smart Origami Ornithology Special. Curse no bride off a smart! What on earth are you doing here? Well, little Howard invited me up to help get you abducted. <coughs> are you all right, little Howard? I mean, um, I popped up to do some UFO spotting, that's it, yeah. Oh, yeah. is this a good place to spot UFOs? I had no idea. Yes, what a coincidence. <laughs> Just putting up a tent, no idea. I mean, there must be some other life out there. There are millions of planets and stars in the universe. And they found water on Europa. That's one of Jupiter's moons and on Mars. <gasps> and there's a planet that orbits a star called Gliese 518. Nice name. Apparently, it's got similar geology to Earth. Scientists say it's in the Goldilocks zone. That means it's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. Scientists are big babies, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know a lot about aliens, Kirsten right? Well, you asked me to do all the research into it, you know, because of... <coughs> are you on some cough medicine for your throat, little Howard? It sounds really bad. Unbelievable. Big Howard, do you know they've taken the word gullible out of the dictionary? What does gullible mean? Well, we'll never know now. That's terrible. <laughs> Well, we better get some shut eye. We've got a long night's work ahead of us. No, no, no. I mean, a long drive home tomorrow. It's only half five. No, Curtin's right. Kirsten! Bless you. We've got to get some sleep. No, no. Night. Night. I can't sleep now. I, I, I'm wide awake. I've got, I've got a million thoughts going through. Call me Kirsten O'Brien Offers. I will. Do you want to stay and see if the aliens come and get him? No, I've got to go to Dorset now and paint some pants on the Cern Abbas giant. Good luck with it, though. See ya. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh. Did you sleep well, Big Howard? Oh. Yes, I did, thanks. I had a really weird dream that you and Kirsten O'Brien off of Smart were pegging me out in a field with tent pegs. <laughs> Where do you get these crazy ideas from? Yeah, I'm mad, aren't I? Wait a minute, why am I pegged out in a field? It was probably field mice. You're not trying to get me abducted by aliens, are you? Oh, no. Um, oh, what's that over there? I think it's a pinball machine. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, you and your pinball machines. I don't know. <laughs> pinball machine out here? Ow! Is there any 
anybody out there? If there is, could you please come and take Big Howard? Cause he's never really been to space. He is big, but he's easily overpowered. If there's anybody out there, I'd be grateful if you stayed out there at home. I don't want to go on holiday. I'd be happy with a fortnight out in Rome. If there's anybody out there, could you please come here and take my friend? Show him all of the universe. Buy him dinner at the restaurant at the end. If there's anybody out there, I'd like to tell you that I'm happy where I am. And you wouldn't really like me much. I'm a rotter, I'd be better off in Rotterdam. Sick if I travel that far. If there's anybody out there, show him all the stars and a black hole, cause he's never really been to space, and he always honks a remote control. What? Is that what all this is about? I wouldn't let you watch that film last night. Well, yes, it looked brilliant, and it had aliens in it. Well, I recorded it. I forgot to tell you. You can watch it when we get home. Oh. Um. If there's anybody out there, we are very sorry to have bothered you. Carry on invading stars, going shopping or whatever it is you do. If there's anybody out there, please ignore all the things that we just said. Carry on assimilating bars, tumble drying or perhaps just stay in bed. Sounds like Mother's still up. Hang on, what's she watching? Don't worry, Daphne. The flesh-eating monsters from the planet Mars won't bother us here in Woking, especially not in Lover's Lane. She's watching that film I recorded for you. Why are we whispering? Have you never seen the films? What's a film? This gives me an idea. Come here and give me a stout kiss, you silly, silly Daphne. I'll do better than that, Bernard. Well, this is a fine how do you do. No! Resistance is stupid, puny Earth computer. We are invaders from the planet. Um. Rubber Glovelia. You must swear allegiance to our flipping enormous battle fleet, which is poised outside Earth's atmosphere, ready to rain down. Um. Origami cranes upon your puny planet. Steady on. I surrender! I swear allegiance to you, O oh great conquerors! I hereby denounce all the human people of Earth! Except Lord Michael. And that nice lad of Strictly, what's his name? Was he the rugby player? Wait a minute. How do you know about Strictly Count Dancing? Because it's us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you cheeky pair of... what's his names? 